Can you guys hear me now? Hi everyone, I'm Andy from Target Transfers. Thank you so much for joining us today. Um, for those who are new to Target Transfers, we are the UK's supplier of heat applied materials and machines. We're part of Group Style, um, so you can get all the leading machines and materials from us. But today we're going to be talking about the 360 IQ hat press. Um, I'm very pleased to be joined today by Hadley from Beachfield Brands, who's a product decoration specialist. Hi there. Hi there, guys. Uh, yeah, so my name's uh, Hadley and I'm product decoration consultant here at uh, Beachfield Brands. Uh, if you don't know anything about Beachfield Brands, uh, I'll just give you a quick overview. Uh, we are a blank cap bag and accessory manufacturer with more than 550 products split across four brands. Every product has been built with a decorator in mind in some way, shape or form. Um, we are, in fact, actually split between four brands. Um, I'm just going to give you a quick overview of each one before we jump straight into the, the demonstrations with, with Andy. So, yeah, so Beachfield is uh, the brand which we're going to be looking at today, which all of our rebrandable headwear comes under. For, for over 25 years, uh, Beachfield has remained at the forefront of rebrandable fashion and ahead of the curve when it comes to cutting edge lifestyle products. In Beachfield, we have over 180 styles of all sorts of different silhouettes, ranging from flat peak caps, curved peak caps, morphs, beanies, gloves, and more. Um, Andy, are you okay for me to continue, or do you want to jump in now? And okay, I'll I'll, I'll go ahead and um, just give you a bit more of a, an overview. So uh, no, bag bag. let's get stuck in with the uh, the first first hat. Okay, you want to go ahead and get stuck into the first hat, yeah? Okay, so the first thing to mention before we um, before we continue is um, key thing to note is that we don't sell direct ourselves. We sell through the four distributors, uh, Pen Carry, Rallowise, BTC, and Prestige. They stock all our full range. So please contact your preferred distributor after this with more specific info on pricing, but I'll be, be able to give you suggested pricing throughout. So yeah, our, our first cap today is the, the B70 recycled pro style cap, which I've got here and so is Han Andy. Um, so uh, we all know sustainability is a huge topic right now, especially in the fashion industry. It's only become only gonna become more prominent in the years to come. So this is why as, it, as uh, demand will grow very rapidly for, for sustainable products, this is why we're thinking this is gonna be a key seller, top seller uh, summer 2021. A key few features of this cap is it's made from 100% recycled polyester, uh, equivalent to 1.5 post consumer bottles, and it is available in four different colorways. Uh, black, navy, graphite gray, which I believe Andy's got in his hand, and I've got white here. Uh, main features include uh, six panel construction um, with reinforced buckram behind for ease of decoration. Um, yep, yeah, also a self-fabric strap with a tri-glide buckle to the rear, and it also features a tear-away label for ease of rebranding. So the suggested price of this uh, that we give to the distributors is £2.45. Um, okay, you'll be pleased to hear that I'm going to stop talking now, and I will pass you back over to Andy, who's going to show you how you can effortlessly print onto one of these. Thanks so much, Hadley. So with this wonderful hat, we're going to be putting a woven badge on for this one. So give you a little, little preview of this. So what I'm going to do is going to use the 360 IQ press, which is a brand new press from Hotronics, which has only been in the UK since March. One thing to be really careful when you're putting your press on, out in the press is to take the cardboard out so that way you can get full access to the top of the hat here. So it's gonna take you over to the press here. So with the IQ, you can set any, any of your presets you want to use. I've already put a woven badge on here for you. You click that one. So we're gonna have 140 degrees on the top and 160 degrees on the bottom. The reason we're doing this is because with a hat like this, it can be quite sensitive to heat. And it doesn't really want to be heated that much. 
But what we're going to do is have a look at all the heat in the bottom. So all the action is done inside. That way there's not going to be a single mark on this hat when I finish with it. So I'm just going to pop this on here. Make, again, make sure that's out. Then once you're happy that the hat is pulling over the edge here, we're going to clamp it in with this handle. So it's nice and firm on here. And then all we're going to do is simply going to place it on here. Even though this is the six panel hat, this is still going to go over the over the uh, seam, no problem. We're going to use the thinnest available foam pad for this. You get three options when you buy the press. We're just going to use the thinnest one because it's a nice thin woven badge. Just going to pop this over the top here. And I'm going to pull this down and it's going to take 45 seconds. And that's it. That's all there is to it now. So if you imagine how quick this is compared to different decoration types, such as embroidery, which might take you 10 minutes per time. And it, again, it's going to give you a flawless result. Because it's got that lower heat, that means you can do the thicker stuff like uh, woven badges now, where previously other hat presses were perfect for vinyl or transfers, but because you, you might have too much heat coming down. So this is almost done. As I said, it takes 45 seconds, medium pressure. And as soon as it's finished, it's going to give me a little countdown when it's almost done. And then it's just going to pop up automatically and then we'll be all set to the big reveal. There we go. So what you want to do is just gently release the handle back down. Now you can take your hat off, bring it over here. Because there's no carrier on this, straight away, you're already done. You can see it right here. That thing, it's not going to come off. I'm picking at it, and it's on perfectly. This is on there permanently. But getting real close, you can see there's not a single mark on it. Where before, if you were trying to apply a woven badge, you might find you get like a bit of a press box around the edge of it. But that is eliminated with this new press. And it means that now you can add a premium finish to this premium hat. Um, and the, the, sort of the RRP to your end user has gone up quite considerably now. And it's, all it's only taken 45 seconds. So, for instance, with a woven badge like this, um, the, the starting price is um, £1.53 for a minimum quantity. So if you combine that with the um, £2.45 of the hat, you've got decorated this hat for £3.98, worst case scenario. Um, and if you think, I mean, how much would you say um, the price of a hat like this would cost if you're selling it to an end user, Hadley? Uh, to an end user, it could be anything from £18 to £25. Pounds. So that profit margin on that is really quite substantial. Um, you know, and if you think about how many you could get through in an hour, you could get at least, you could get, you could almost get 60 through in an hour. Um, what, you know, conservatively sort of 30 to 40, which is really quite a um, considerable amount and a very nice way to up your profit margins. So I'm just going to put this down for the side for now. Um, and I'm going to let Hadley talk about one of the uh, latest hats that's about to come out from Beachfield Brands. The uh, Thank you, cap. Um, yeah, so the next star we're going to be looking at is the uh, B550 Seamless Waterproof Cap. Um, so this was launched last year and was very much a athleisure piece. Its breathability and water resistant attributes places itself at the forefront of the sportswear uh, sector, but it does act as somewhat of a of a hybrid, um, having opportunity to pass into the fashion markets as well, due to its seamless um, design and available availability and variety of colours. It comes in six colours. You've got black, graphite grey, navy, classic red, blue, and white. Uh, its composition is sixty percent cotton and 40% polyester. And some features which I've not yet mentioned includes a structured front panel uh, for ease of decoration, which you'll, you'll see in a second, and an elasticated sweatband on the inside for maximum comfort, uh, even while exercising. So just touching slightly more on the water resistant properties of this, so it's water resistant 
Uh, it's had a water resistant wicking additive added in production. Uh, and to confirm, this is not affected from the heat of a cap press once done properly. Uh, this is a great piece which uh, we have seen growth specifically in sectors such as uh, used as golf caps or as you know uh, running caps and we all know that running uh, throughout the lockdown has become a uh, a big hobby and one that we all know someone that's picked up running in in the last few months so the the suggested price of this is four pound 49 and i'll just pass you back over to andy now who will show you how it can be printed effortlessly Okay, thank you very much, Hadley. So yes, this is a really, really exciting hat because it's so much um, different to anything we've seen on the market before. So really excited to put an embroidered badge on this one. Because it's a premium hat, we want to give that nice premium finish. So this is the new Target embroidered badge. So I'm gonna take it over to the machine. Once again, I'm gonna pull up the elastic. It's got elastic on it, so you have to be a bit more careful when you're putting it on. Make sure it's on there nice and properly. There you go. Just make sure you've got it over there like that. So make sure we've got it on embroidered badge. With this one, because it's got a little bit less structure to it, what I'm going to do is actually going to put a little bit more time on it than we normally would do with an embroidered badge. So the way I do that, just click on that and I'm going to give it an extra 15 seconds, take up to 60. The reason I do that is because it's got a little bit less structure, which just means that you, when it moulds, it just gives it a nice firm surface, a little bit more time with it, especially with the, the embroidered badge, it's just what it needs, which is why with the, with the heat press, we give you guide with this. But it's always best to test first because there is such a variation between the material makeup, the structure of the hat. So it's always best to test first, or but use instructions as a guide. Again, I'm going to use the nice thin pad for this. All of our badges, you only need the thin one for. Pop it on here. Make sure you've got a nice placement. Pop it on there. While we wait for that one to fuse, I'm just going to show you this one I did earlier. One of the things I wanted to point out to everyone while we're waiting is just giving yourself enough of a gap here. One of the common mistakes you find with hat decorating is when you go too low to this main, um, the peak here. And that means that you're more likely to get um, an inconsistent contact with the press that way. If you imagine you've got the elastic here and you've got a bit of a seam here inside as well. So just make sure you give yourself enough room and then your embellishments are never going to come off. So it's almost done. It's got about another 20 seconds to go. So while we do that, I just wanted to show you something else that we've done. With this new press, you can do 360 prints on it, which is perfect for something like this hat where you've got no seams because you can decorate every single inch of the hat. I probably wouldn't put a rubber badge on for a kind of more fashionable finish, but you can see that you can achieve big prints on the back. Something's done now. So again, take that off. And we can see this is the fresh one I've just done. I feel it's not, still nice and hot. And that one has gone on perfectly. Nice and easy. And again, you've got a super premium finish. Like Hadley was saying, because you can uh, use this for your golf customers it's again it's premium sports um which i don't what would you say the rrp on something like this would be hadley yeah so with, uh with this uh with the uh, seamless design the, the water resistant properties you can sort of push this up to towards the uh 32 pound region which we've seen before Okay, so to give you an idea on that then, so the price of the hat just to refresh you was 4.49 as an estimated RRP. The actual price of an em, uh, embroidered decoration, you're looking at one pound 53. So it gives you a total of six pounds. That, and that's your all in decoration press. 
So this is a really cheap and easy way to create a premium product. Um, so we, you know, this is a real, real good look, especially if everything starts to open up again. Golf and other sports like running are going to be such a big market for you. And it's still got plenty of time to go. It's not time for the summer just yet. It's getting there. Um, but I would definitely recommend sending this combination to your customers. So I think it will be a good time to move on to one of the classics uh, and talk about the tracker cap. That's our tech lit lit. Hand it over to you, Hadley. Uh, thank you very much, Andy. So yeah, uh, so what we've got here, the, uh, the third cap we're looking at today is the uh, B647 six panel snap pack trucker. So uh, this is a cap that we actually brought in as we've uh, seen an opportunity to enter a more retail based fashionable sector off the back of the success of some other silhouettes, such as the B640, which is our traditional trucker with the uh, A-frame front. Uh, you see these mesh panel types of uh, styles uh, popular with the uh, consumer that is going into the likes of uh, JD Sports, going into you know Foot Locker, them type of shops. And, and this is the exact, uh, the exact customer we had in mind with this. Uh, we don't see the snapback mesh style going away anytime soon. So hence why this is uh, uh, one of our selected styles for a bestseller come summer 2021. Uh, so here's some, some features of the cap is that it's got 100% uh, cotton front panel and peak combination. And the uh, mid and rear panels are made from 100% polyester mesh. It also features from a snapback rear closure. Uh, it's also got reinforced buckram again, which makes printing uh, walk in the park. And uh, yeah, I will now pass you back over to uh, Andy to talk about how you can print onto this. Thank you very much, Hayley. So this is one of my personal favorite hats still. And what we're gonna put on here is our new 3D embossed transfer. So this is one, it's a, a, what often known as liquid embroidery, but it's got a in detail of embroidery, but you can put metallic finish and a kind of bezeled effect on there. So I'm just gonna take it over here. Again, make sure you're pulling out the, the inside. Pop on here, make sure you've got nice good contact. Then with this one, I'm gonna put it back down to the preset of 3D embossed because you don't need the extra pressure that you're expecting. It's got plenty of structure. So that's again, it's gonna take 45 seconds. So to do this, all you need to do is pull the backer off. Bear me one moment. And get inside it. You can see the metallic finish on the back there. We've got the plastic carrier on it. So give yourself enough room for this decoration on the, on the platen here. But we're actually going to go over the seam with this one. This is one of the real game changes with this, uh, with this new press is that you can decorate over the seam, which is unheard of up until a couple of months ago when Hotronics brought this press out. So again, you go with the thinnest foam pad, put it down 45 seconds, and then it'll be done. That's all there is to it. So this one I did earlier while we're waiting for that. You can see here, the seam, it's gone perfectly over it. There's no picking at this. This is gonna stay on there indefinitely now, which gives you a really high pre premium finish. So um, this badge here, you're starting at about um, £4.14 for a minimum order, but the prices go down quite quickly with this. But again, this sort of badge, with kind of roughly adds about an extra sort of five pound to the end RRP of this. So it's a, it's a real good um, option. It's a new new for this year. Um, it's all available on badges.targettransfers.com. So let's take this off. With this one, because it's got the carrier on here, we're gonna peel this cold. So I'm just gonna set this aside for a second. And I'll peel that for you in just a moment. While we're waiting for that to cool down, one of the things I wanted to talk to everyone about was the 360 nature of this press. 
So why we call it the 360 is because you have this 360 degrees decoration area. So what it means is as well as just decorating the front, you can now decorate the side, the back, anywhere with fabric, you can get contact to the press and go all the way around. So you can get transfers on the side and a woven badge on the front, or you could do a rubber badge on the front, transfer on the side, with no problem. So there's literally every area of the hat can be decorated now. So it's almost ready. It didn't take too long to cool down, but generally speaking, what I would do if I was doing um, multiples of these would be to set, press them, set them aside and come back later. It's not gonna make any difference when you do the actual peeling of them because they're gonna stay on there, which is fine. But you can see nice and easy, the carrier comes off and you left that premium finish. Um, just as we see here, and again, that's a gone, that's on there permanently. You get a nice high quality finish. I mean, I'm not sure, what would you think when um, an end RRP would be on something like this, Hadley? Uh, yeah, with that type of application on, again, you, you, you can bump it up to towards, I would say 25 to 28 pounds uh, RIP. Excellent, so, We're going to ask you to talk about this one now, Hadley. It's another yep. exciting product of yours. Yeah, no problems. I will uh, yeah, showcase this one now. So, yeah, the next star we're looking at is the uh, the B649 Urban Wear 5 panel Snapback. Uh, a cap with similar characteristics to the one previously mentioned. It's our brand new this year um, product, which is focusing on the same customer and sector as the B645. Uh, the same customer that wants that urban retail based product. Um, yeah, but this time with a different composition and structure. So it's made from 80% polyester, 20% cotton blend. And obviously it features from, um, it doesn't have the, the rear and back mesh panels. It's, it's all the same composition. And yeah, as I said before, this is a vertical development of our B640, which is a very strong style. Uh, which has done very well from us in the past and it's yeah, mo moving further into the, the the brand fashion retail sector it's available in three colorways uh, i've got the black colorway here and he's got the graphite gray and it also comes in uh, french navy some other features include a uh, semi uh, curved peak as well as a snapback size adjuster to the rear uh, yeah this style alongside its six panel counterpart we feel is going to be a great addition to lots of wardrobes this summer and it has a suggested price of two pounds 25. Okay. i'll just pass it back over to andy so again another fantastic hat here what i'm going to do with this one is i'm going to put one of our ultra color transfers on so for those that are new to hat decorating or heat printing in general ultra color is something that um target transfers supply in the uk and it's uh, international uh, transfer development we've done together with Group Style, our parent company. So this is the world's leading full color transfer. Um, and one of the main benefits is it's got this really thin finish. So if you're looking for something a bit softer, um, a bit, you know, again, a premium finish, but you want to be able to put tones and gradients into your design, Ultra Color is the one to choose here. So what I'm going to do, because it's a bit thinner, and hasn't got quite as so much structure when it's actually on the press. I'm just going to put a little heat tape on there. Pop that on there. Again, I'm just going to hover it over the press again. Make sure you've got the cardboard out. Just pop that down there. Make sure it's got a nice firm surface. Because this is a transfer, it's actually going to take less time than any of the um, embroidery or woven patches. So we go back to our uh, IQ controller here and change it to the ultra color subby blocker transfer. Tend to go with a subby blocker rather than a standard ultra color, just because um, you can then put onto any hat because there's lots of vibrant colors out there for different hats. That sometimes you don't know how, if you need to dot that die blocker in there just to be sure and obviously you know most hats it's because some hats could be treated um just and it's got the polyester in there as well so 
like I said, we'll put a bit of tape on it. Again, we're going to use the thin foam pad because it's nice thin transfer, so that's all we need. Pop it on there. This is only going to take 30 seconds because of the heat transfer. It's a lot thinner. There's a less action that needs to happen with the lower baton on this. So it'll only take a sec. Like I said, these are all available through badges.targettransfers.com. So, but if you have any questions about this, pop them in the chat because um, we'll be answering some, all of your questions once we finish going through the hats. We've got another hat to do after this and then we'll be opening up the questions. It's got three more seconds. Release it nice and gently. Just going to pop it to the side because this does need to feel cold. It'll only take a second. Just let it cool down. And then we'll give it the grand reveal in just a sec. So um, while we're waiting for this one to do, Hadley, what would you say the um, RRP on something like this one would be once it's once it's a finished product? Once, uh, yeah, once it's all decorated and finished, it would be uh, similar to the one we just looked at before. So I'd say you could you could easily get 25 to 28 pounds for a product like this. Um, that's definitely due to the, you know, that, that logo that you're attaching to the front. It just elevates it up. Okay. So this is actually cooled down quite quick because it's nice and cold in this room. So I'm just going to do a quick reveal on this. Pull that tape off. It's already starting to want to come off. So nice and easy with ultra color. Give you a nice reveal here. Nice and quick, and you can see straight away. Again, no scorch marks. This is on nice and perfectly, and this is going to stay on there for indefinitely. I mean, you don't tend to wash hats that many times, but Ultra Color has been tested for 60 plus washes on things like um, t shirts and hoodies, so you can get a really long lasting finish with your hat this way. Um, so, if it might be an athletic one where you want do need to wash it a bit more often, that is an option for you too. So I think we've only got one more to do. See so if I could let you take us through the uh, the latest hat here, Hadley. Thanks, Andy. Uh, yeah, so the uh, the last product we're looking at today uh, will be the B660 Original Flat Peak Snapback. Uh, now, this is one of our more uh, premium products. It's it's got a very uh, it's got a heavy weight to it, and it, uh, it just it's with with a top quality. We feel it's at the, the top of the rebrandable cap food chain. Uh, that does follow suit with the two previous stars we looked at going into the um, fashion and retail sector. Flat Peak products have been overtaken recently uh, with the, by their by their uh, Curved Peak counterpart. Um, and you know you see the fashion trends recently; they've all been Curved Peak. Everyone's wearing Curved Peak caps. If you go back a decade or so, uh, yeah, ten years, everyone was wearing Flat Peak caps. And we are starting to see it re-emerge. As we know, fashion, they, you know, it does cycles. We're seeing flat peak caps re-emerging. And uh, there's lots of people out there that are collecting flat peak fitted caps from the likes of, you know, companies like New Era, sort of like how uh, sneak, sneak collectors collect limited edition shoes and whatnot. So with the likes of that, it's helping flat peak caps come uh, do full term, come back into fashion. And that is why this this summer we're putting this as one of our uh, top sellers. Some key features of it is uh, it is available in 12 different colorways. Uh, it features a five panel construction uh, along with a retro style snapback closure. And it's also got a contrast under peak uh, featuring, you know, just to give that, give that high quality, high, higher finish. The, suggest the suggested price for this is uh, £2.45. And I will just hand you back to Andy now to show you how easy it is to decorate. Thanks, Hadley. So with the with this hat, what we're going to use is one of our new Target rubber badges. So you can see here, you've got a real a striking, thick um, heat heat transfer here. So we're going to pop this on here, and we're going to make another premium finish hat. So I'm just going to take it over here, lose the cardboard. We're going to pop it back onto a rubber badge here. This, again, like the other uh, slightly thicker products, will need that 45 seconds press because it's got that little bit more uh, reaction to go through. So let me pop that on here. 
as you see with this one, I'll just quickly mention this. This has got only got one platter on it. So those that are already decorating hats will be used to changing hats over whenever you do a snapback. Because it's got this molded silicon finish now. It means that we no longer have to change patterns every time because it will mold to the shape of the hat now rather than having to go the other way around. So when I put it on here, this is a nice tight fit for the hat. So it's not, it's going to get all of the heat to all of the hat, nice and easy. So again, just pop it on here. Make sure you've got enough room because that rubber badge is nice and thick. Keep it away from the peak. So you've got plenty of exposure to the heat. Using the thin foam pad again. So pop it on here, put it down. You only need one hand to do this. This is a super user-friendly heat press. I've hardly had to strain at all to put it down. And it's got the auto open feature, so there's no, for an actual user, it's really nice and uh, pleasant on them that way. So we're just gonna give it a sec. We'll see that um, it's almost finished count down. So this is, again, it's part of the IQ range of Motronic. So this is the, when it comes to heat presses, the IQ range is the, at top level of heat press. So we have these for um, in single-headed and double-headed presses if you're doing things like hoodies and t-shirts and anything else. Um, but these kind of give the most consistent heat. Everything in here is designed to give consistent heat across the whole of the platen like you come to expect from the IQ range. Um, so that's done now. I'll just bring it over in one sec. Get to sit back down. Again, you can see here, there's no edges here. I can pick at this. It's not coming off. This is on there permanently. So again, you've got that nice chunky finish, giving a real premium finish. Um, something really quite exciting to take to your customers now. So um, just, I'll take it over. I'll pass it over to you again, Hallie, just to give you a bit of an, give us a bit of an idea of how much you think something like this might cost. Uh, yes, yeah, so with the uh, the flat peak caps, uh, you can request slightly more with these sort of styles, um, and you could be looking at sort of pushing again uh, thirty two pounds, thirty two to thirty five pounds. You can ask for a uh, flat pack, okay. flat peak cap, I should say. Thanks, Hadley. So that's all of our presses we've done today. So I just want to, before we get into the questions, just want to quickly recap what we've done. So we've done the recycled pro style cap with a woven badge. We've also shown that you can do multiple sides of this as well. We've done the seamless waterproof cap. Just pulling off the table, if you want me. Sorry about that. We've done the uh, seamless waterproof cap, which is one of the new hats in Beachfield this year. And we've popped an embroidered badge on that. We've also done the uh, Trucker hat with a 3D embossed badge, which is new badge from Target available this year. And we've also done a, a five panel snapback with the uh, ultra color transfer to get that real thin, smooth finish. And then finally, we put the rubber badge on this um, original flat pack, flat peak snapback. So we've covered quite a lot today a good variation so there's so many different finishes that are available in terms of the makeup of the material the structure of the hats but there's literally no hat that you can't decorate now um, so we're really excited to introduce the 360 iq um, and also to be working with uh, hadley and beachfield to bring you this um, industry knowledge about what is what to expect for the rest of this year the type of products that you should be um bringing to your customers so with that in mind, I think it now is a good time to um, ask some questions to the audience. So we're just going to pop up some questions onto the screen and we'll take it from there. Okay, so we have a question from Bruce who wants to know what is the cost of woven patches? So woven patches is, of all the um, thicker badges and emblems, woven is the cheapest way to get started with. So the actual entry level woven price is one pound and four pence on the minimum order. So you can imagine that if you're starting to do 200, 300, 500, for when you get those bigger jobs in, the price comes down quite rapidly. Um, and for instance, if you were to combine this with the six panel trucker hat, which we, we put the embossed uh, 
logo on. If you were to combine that with a woven uh, badge, you're looking at three pounds and three pence for your all-in cost, which is really quite remarkable considering the um, cost you could sell this for to an end user. So thanks for that question, Bruce. So we have a quick question who, for our, who wants to how to order the press. So uh, my colleague is going to put a link in the comments for this one. Um, but it's really easy to get hold of. Just buy from Target Transfers. The cost of the press is £1,400 plus VAT. But as we've discussed throughout today, if you think about the average um, profit margin on these hats, you're looking at sort of 10 to £15 uh, per hat. So the cost uh, for the payoff of this is it's roughly about um, uh, 70 hats. So if you think you could get a job for 70 hats, you kind of more or less paid off your heat press already. And then at that point, you you can immediately start to make big profits as soon as you get to your hundredth hat that you press and much further on from that. So the ideas of the badges minimum order. So these vary from badge to badge. So for instance, ultra color transfers to the minimum is only 10. So this is a really easy way to get into the hat decorating game. Minimum order 10 will turn around in two days. Um, and you can get started really quite that quickly. They could arrive at the same time as your new hat heat press. If you're looking to order um, woven and embroidered ones, these have a minimum order of 200 because um, there's a little bit more manufacturing time. So the minimum is a bit higher. Um, and then those have a turnaround time of uh, nine to 12 days. Um, and then we have a 3D embossed and the rubber badge, which have minimum orders of 100. But if you can imagine the, the uh, premium finish with the embroidered badges means that you're going to be dealing with larger customers at that point anyway, who are going to want to order in bulk from you. So you could your first order could pay off that heat press already. Um, and I can correct me if I'm wrong on this, Hadley, but with, with all the different resellers you sell through in the UK, you the low is I think you can order like one hat sometimes, can't you? But and obviously you get um better profit margins the more hats you order but at least at least just one for most of the resellers is that right exactly yeah uh the moqs with the uh, the distributors that we sell through you know uh are as can be as good one excellent so do we have any more questions do the patches have a slight adhesive coating or come easy step yes everything that we provide you with from a badge point of view all has a adhesive on the back of it so with the ultra color subby blocky, you can see we've got the transfer backing on it. I'll just show you on the uh, on the wave one. I don't know if you'll be able to pick that up, but you can see it's a nice shiny finish. Everything has e adhesive already, so there's no extra work, there's no extra labor cost in terms of actually having to put an adhesive on the back of them. You're good to go as soon as you've got the uh, the patches with you. Is there a digitizing fee for patches? Um, no, that's all incorporated into the cost. Um, if you wanted a sampling cost, there might be a, a fee uh, on top of the actual order, but there's no, it's all it's all very transparent costing when it comes to our badges, much like the transfers that are available through custom.targettransfers.com. With the badges, we want to be nice and upfront. So if you go onto the website, you can upload an artwork or even just put some test text in and you'll get an immediate price um, straight away, no hidden costs. Okay, so we've actually got an example of this with us. So slightly off topic from patches and badges, but again, this is one that's really quite exciting. Um, and we're seeing a lot of our early adopters of the heat press using this one. So um, the thickest vinyl you can get from Styles is the high build 3D. So I'll show you on here. You can see this is a thousand micron stick. This is a really chunky vinyl. Um, and again, this is another reason why you'd want to have the 360 IQ because it's in the hybrid, it's almost like a patch with it, the way it's made. So you want that lower heat because otherwise you're going to be putting too much through the press. But basically, it's the same as you would use for high build as you would do on t-shirts you know you want you can't go super fine like you would do with a sports film flex vinyl but so if you keep it nice and chunky but with high build that's the sort of design you're going to be looking for anyway um 
But as long as you're using the right knife to cut it with, you'll have no problems. It, um, I pressed this for 45 seconds with uh, 140 on the top and 160 on the bottom. And this has gone on perfectly. So it's very easy to get started using high build or any other vinyl for that matter. So I've got a question about artwork. It's a good question um, because those that are familiar with our transfers know that we do have a few different options um, if you're doing ultra color screen normally. But with badges, uh, because there's uh, the detail, we do require an EPS file for this. This is something you can create with Illustrator or Coral Draw. Um, and just that's the best way to make sure we get all of your detail incorporated into a woven embroidered or an embossed badge. Do we get leather badges in the use? So at the moment, um, the closest you can get to a leather patch is the rubber one. Let's just to remind you, is this one here. Um, at the moment, we don't have any current plans to do any leather badges. Um, definitely not until next year at the earliest. So, um, Good question, Paul. So we've only covered uh, snapbacks and hats today. Um, and this is something that uh, myself and Hadley have um, talked about for the future of doing some um, kind of beanies and some other types of hats, perhaps closer to winter time. Um, because you can, you, but you can put an embroidered patch onto a beanie. But again, it all comes down to testing. So start off with the normal instructions for an embroidered badge. So 140 on the top, 160 in the bottom. 45 seconds at medium pressure and then depending on if there's if there's a decoration area already on the beanie then that's no different to using a hat anyway but if you're going to be going straight on to the weave then you really just need to do a bit of testing on that one um, i don't know if you want to um just quickly pick up on the some of the sort of the beanie options you've got available through beachfield at the moment hadley uh, yes, thanks, Andy. So uh, obviously we've got we have got a wide range of of beanies available. Um, as I said earlier, we've got about over 180 styles in, in total um, in the Beachfield range. It's definitely something we're going to look at later, and it's a conversation myself and Andy can have about doing another presentation like this uh, just on beanies uh, close to winter. Obviously, uh, the main one that you're probably you might not be aware of is the the B45, which is our um, standard cuff bean knit, which is a, one of our top sellers. Uh, used in all sorts of sectors, you know, the promotional wear, um, fashion wear, seen all over. And then uh, we've also got our autumn winter 2021 range, which will be coming out at the end of this year. Uh, and obviously our all four distributors will be stocking this and the presentation for this will be going out relatively soon. So yeah, uh, just keep, keep tuned. And uh, maybe that's something Andy and myself can do when, uh, when I've got the information for the autumn winter 2021 range, we can uh, sort of do a presentation to you guys, show you the products, uh, what we've got new in and show you how to decorate them. Thanks, Hadley. So I think I think we're all out of questions now. But if you do have any further questions you think of after today, just get in touch with us either on Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, send us a message, whatever you prefer. Just a reminder for everyone that the hat press is available to purchase in UK through Target Transfers. Um, just head on to our website, targettransfers.com and look under heat presses. All of our badges and emblems are available um, from badges.targettransfers.com. Um, and everyone that buys a Hot Tonics 360 press will be getting a sample pack of the badges to have a test for themselves. If you want to know the latest in hat trends and what is available, what's new in the market, do head over to beachfield.com um, and have a good look on there. There's some really exciting new products on there, above and beyond hats. Um, and if you want to get any of the hats that you've seen in the, our presentation today, do contact your um, current supplier uh, if, if they're one of the ones that had a list earlier. Um, if you need to find a supplier, get in touch with Beachfield and they'll be able to direct you to the best, uh, the best option there. So I just wanted to end on this and say thanks so much to Hadley for joining us today. Um, it's been really insightful learning all about these um, new hats that are coming out. Um, and I'm sure that you can find one of us on LinkedIn if you've got any further questions. Uh, Beachfield are always uh, very easy to deal with. Um, so on that note, I'd just like to say thank you to everyone for joining us today. Um, and we'll catch you on the next one.
Thank you very much, Andy. Thank you all for joining. See you later.